photography sickness. Do you suffer this sickness? A lot of people do. I think it's actually could be a form of um, like uh, uh, crotch compensation. I'm going to call it HLS, uh, huge lens syndrome. Huge lens syndrome. Prior video was actually talking about this little uh, deformed dwarf here who was one of the most brilliant people who ever lived. Check out the prior video talking about Charles Proteus Steinmetz. What a brilliant person. Over 200 patents, over 50 books. Wow, what a person. I've had a lot of people tell me that they are going to buy that uh, neat little uh, Nikkor lens, the 105 f1.4. People suffer this sickness. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's only $2,200. Every image from this lens, I'm going to borrow it here in the next few days. Every and I've seen now I've seen lots of images from this lens, and people keep posting me images, jokingly. The people that agree with me, it's like, oh my God, you got to see the latest image that so and so took with this lens. They're all absolutely atrocious. You are suffering from some sort of demented psychosis if you're interested in buying a $2,200 Chinese-made chew toy that actually is so horrible that the psychological value of taking a headshot with this lens at f1.4 head and shoulder shot because only one eye will be in focus even if the person lays perfectly one eye is like if the person cocks their head even a little bit this one eye will be out of focus. that is psychologically disturbing that makes for crap portraiture now if it comes to like it's actually ingrained in the human consciousness that we think we're having a stroke when we see a picture like that. God, you know, is my eye messed up or something like that? You know, like one side of a face is in focus, the other isn't. Um, if you have a really dimly lit situation or a certain composition that actually can work, it's actually very limited. If you take a picture of an object at f1.4, human consciousness is not disturbed by that. If I take a picture of this camera and I shoot it at f1.4 and the only thing that's in focus is part of the ISO dial, human consciousness does not have an issue with that. But when it comes to human faces and using this as a portrait lens, you're a dumbass. I mean... It, there are these people that literally think that everything bigger is better. Well, we're just going to stick a huge element on the front of this lens. We're going to stick it, which isn't the, the worst part. The worst part is the fact that uh, this uh, stupid lens uh, has way too many elements in it. Just way too many elements. Way, way, way too many elements. It's it's a filthy lens. It's absolutely disgusting. It's disturbing, and if you buy it, you're you're a sucker. But this is not about that lens in specific. I mean, do you suffer HLS, huge lens syndrome? I've got a lot of huge ass lenses. I mean, some of them are like this, and the front element is like that. I got plenty of huge huge lenses. It's certainly not an issue of price. It's like if I want to buy it, I'll go buy the damn lens. But if you think that people and everybody that posts a picture of this stupid lens, I know they suffer HLS because they always post a picture of like a sitting on the front of some Nikon camera. And they go, oh my God, look how big that thing is. Ooh. Really, does that, have, does that have one damn thing to do with photography? Or taking a great picture? Does it have anything to do? Does it have anything to do with anything? And then the funny part is, a lot of people will tell me, "Oh, well, the lens looks really good when you stop it down to f2." I've heard this comment at least 20 times already. The lens looks good when you stop it down to f2, and that is where I want to claw my face off. It's like, oh, this lens is $2,200, which is an F1.4 Nikkor, only looks good at F2. Then why don't you buy a 105 F2, you moron? Not only is the 105 F2 DC Nikkor far less than half the price, if it's like, if it's only good at F2, then why don't you buy a damn F2? When I say that, there's silence. Ooh. In other words, you just paid $1,200 for a damn lens extra, $1,200 extra, for that portion of the lens, which you already admit, basically, is no damn good. 
Nikon created this lens, and this is not about this lens specifically. Nikon created this lens as a vanity. Nikon released to say, this is the fastest portrait lens in the world at 105. And, and it is. Well, actually, Tamron, like a week after, <laughs> announced that they're coming out with one even faster than that. You see, if there is a demand for something, because there are a lot of people out there that suffer from HLS, huge lens syndrome, then there, if, there's a, if there's a demand, then there'll be a supply. If there's like a demand for like a cocaine laced with Drano and uh, angel dust, then uh, some drug lord in Mexico is going to start lo lacing his cocaine with Drano. You know, whatever the, <laughs> whatever the demand. And then people, then people also rationalize. The, the image from this lens is horrible. It's flat, low saturation, it's bad. And people talk about, well, the resolution's good. If resolution is the only thing that defines a good lens, then I will suggest, no, I won't suggest, I will absolutely insist that you're an idiot. Anybody that thinks that a lens quality uh, is only based upon resolution is a fool. That is no different than a wino, a drunk, a stumble bum, is like, what's the, you ask the person, like, what's the best wine in the world? Ah, it's that high alcohol content stuff I got for $6 down at Walgreens. It, resolution is no different than alcohol content in a wine, you know? If you base everything off of resolution only, then, <laughs> Jesus, you know, you're no different than a wine I was who only, but I walks into the liquor, what is the highest alcohol content wine you got? You know, it's, you got to be cheap, but it's got to be a high alcohol content, you know? I don't, I, they don't care if it tastes like mouthwash. I don't drink, by the way. <laughs> it's just a really good analogy. You suffer from HLS. You know, when you start to wiggle and squirm like a frog on a hot plate and start to rationalize, it's like, well, it's good at F2. Well, then you should have bought a 105 F2 for like $1,200 less. When you go, well, it's got good resolution. Really? The images from this lens are horrible. But forgetting about this lens, this video is not about this horrible, disgusting lens. Which, but by bejesus, even if it were half that price, even if it were $1,100, it would still be a disgusting, atrocious lens. Plastic lens made in China, which renders horribly. Let's say it was $1,100, which it's not. It's $2,200. It would be a horrible recommendation, even if it were half off. But, oh. Hey, hey, my glasses. Even if it were half, people are going to laugh at that one. Even if it were half off it would still be a horrible lens. I mean, there'd be nothing to recommend about it. Nothing. There is no way in hell that... People amaze me, you know? Actually, they shouldn't amaze me anymore. And they really shouldn't. I knock my glasses off my face. People get a big laugh out of that one. Anyway, so ask yourself, do you suffer from HLS? Huge lens syndrome. I need me one of those 85 millimeter. F <clears throat> Some of these lenses. <laughs> Everybody's. <laughs> Man. This form of portraiture of like wanting to shoot stuff in F1 too. It's like, oh my God, I got a picture of her and just like one, one corner of her eye and only one eye is in focus. Really? Tell me how that is like uh, psychologically pleasing in any form of portraiture. In some rare instances, I've actually seen some really rare instances, I've actually seen that work. Poorly, really dimly lit and some interesting bouquet in the background. Oh my god. Photog you know, Nikon probably wet themselves in obedience. Like, we're going to produce the fastest portraiture lens. That'll be a big feather in our cap. And a lot of stupid people with more money than brains, or just stupid people in general, are going to save up their penny because this is a huge lens. And when someone sticks it on their camera, they're going to go, Ha, ah, look how huge it is. That's something else. What do they call that? Uh, PCS, penis compensation syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> really bad idea.
I don't know what people are thinking, and I think the answer to that is that people weren't thinking at all. Anyway, I have to go out and take some pictures, so I'll come back later this evening, as if you cared, right? Bye. <laughs> I love the fact that I knocked the glasses off my head. That'll make people laugh.